Chris. Now, uh, yeah, enough triathlon, enough else. Now, it's uh, 8.42, and do you know the difference between a mara or a yakoa? Well, we do by now, but yeah. if you go to the northeast of England, you could land yourself a little bit of trouble if you don't know the difference between the two of them. Yes, Pitmatic. It's a dialect that's been used by miners for more than 150 years, but only now does it have its own dictionary. Fiona Trot has been to Northumberland to find out a bit more. Thank you very much. We're going to be drunk coming here. Meet Jimmy and Alex. Between them, they've worked down the mines for 78 years. They have a lot to talk about, but listen closely to what they say. I got a hint, uh, Alec, when the Galloway got a glyph and caught the chumman. Well, you sure did. <laughs> I mean, who are you going to catch up? They're talking pitmatic, but their dialect, like the mining industry itself, is all but gone. You didn't get, you didn't get paid if you didn't catch up. Scumfish. It's actually from French discomfort. This man is trying to preserve it. You're suffocating. So how exactly did these words come about? Well, pitmatic, what I would call the, uh, the industrial dialect of the northeast. I think it's formed when the workers come in from the countryside to take up the jobs in the pits and they bring with them the, the, the local speech they're used to, the, the traditional speech of the region, which owes a lot both to Anglo-Saxon and to the Vikings as well. So it's taken you a year to compile the book. What favourite phrases or stories do you have in particular? Well, I think there's some lovely words in, in the dialect. Um, one of my favourites there is fettle, to fix something. And if you were a What about worker, if you're in fine fettle? Is that... Well, it's the same word, yes. If, if you were the, the blacksmith in the pit, you'd be fettling things that got broken. But uh, if you were greeting someone in the street, yes, you can say, what fettle? And the answer is, fair to middling. Right, now, this is a bit of a tricky one. What about this one? Put yowzle away. Is that right? Put yourself away. Put, put yowzle away. Put yourzle away. Your sail. <laughs> uh, the, the emphasis on the E. Put yourself away. Ah, no, right. That means work harder. Mm -hmm. Ah. Get a cracker. Put yourself away. Ah. Get a bit sharper. Put yourself away. Don't take a ten. Get a cracker. <laughs> Social clubs like this one in Ashington are one of the few places where Pitmatic can be heard. It's hoped the dictionary will preserve the dialect for future generations. Fiona Trott, BBC News, Northumberland. Now we're going to embarrass ourselves trying to pronounce uh, some of the words that you've been yeah, sending in to us this morning very kindly. Uh, where should we start? Um, what about Terry in Newcastle itself texted in with... Are you getting out? <laughs> I'm not going to continue. Yeah, the meat. On. Are you going out with us tonight? Yeah, Makes that's sense. good. That's that. good. Thank you to our black country cousins. Black country spike goes back to the Saxons, but as we're near Birmingham, it's not valued. You could forget we black country blokes and wenches. We am the yam yams. Oh, we're beginning some of that from Adrian Charles. He's that's coming right. in a bit, isn't he? And uh, this on the general subject of uh, dialect, a primary school teacher has uh, texted in to say, I do find it very important to save these dialects from the past. They are part of this nation's history here. That's interesting. Here. Yes, except we had a, a school teacher who wrote in earlier who said that she didn't mind that the language was very flexible and, mm. and it changed. It does evolve all the time. It evolves, otherwise we'd all be speaking Old English. Um, and well, you try one now, come on. Tom, in Blythe, texted in his favourite Geordie phrase, away man, man, woman, man, which is used to hurry your wife or girlfriend up. Away man, away man, man. No, I still haven't got it, actually. Tom, the likely lads. That's very good. <laughs> Thank you for all those. They've been good fun this morning. Thanks. Now, uh, for the